everybody and welcome back to my channel for this Saturday morning, afternoon or evening across the world where you may be at. And today I'm going to be talking about autism and how to make workplaces autism friendly from my own autistic perspective. I've got my notes here. I hope everybody is doing well so let's get into it. Tip 1. Make sure that you have a name badge that is visible so that the person knows who you are and what company you work for. Tip two, be prepared for no shaking of hands when interviewing as this is a sensory trigger for many people on the spectrum. Tip three, make sure the environment is sensory friendly. This includes dimming the lights, interviewing in a quiet room, a maximum meeting time of half an hour, and to show them where the first aid room is or medical emergencies room or where the management is in case they need to talk to management whilst they are in the facility. So tip four, Offer sensory equipment such as ear defenders, fidget aids, sensory toys to ease any anxiety or panic attack or meltdown symptoms. Tip 4A, be flexible with questions when you're asking them because this allows for sensory processing and auditory processing. Explain about your complaints procedure and health and safety etc. Tip 5, be aware that autistic or neurodivergent people may not be able to do eye contact or very limited amount or may not know where to look e.g. at the nose or mouth or side of the face. Tip 6. If a second interview is offered, please make sure that the person has accessible information about the next steps, what they're meant to be doing and what to expect from the next interview. Tip 7. Be flexible with working hours as some autistic people may find it easier to work from home than in the office. Make sure again they know what is expected and what hours they are to be working. Tip 8. If the neurodivergent individual needs to wear a uniform, make sure that the uniform is prepared ahead of time. Make sure that the material is sensory friendly and autism friendly. Again, this is going to be a texture and sensory issue, so make sure this is prepared weeks ahead of time. Tip 9. Make sure individual is introduced to any potential team members in a small group or small time frame to lessen anxiety, stress, sensory overload or meltdowns. Tip 10, make sure the individual has accessible information about the company procedures, rules, etc. Tip 11, if the individual is receiving benefits, make sure you help them provide support for them when they need to declare a change of circumstances, e.g. that they're starting work to get the appropriate support that they are entitled to or maybe after they say they don't know what to do. Tip 12, if there is any food like a canteen or a kitchen at the organisation, make sure you find out about your potential employees uh, allergies or food sensitivities as many people on the autistic spectrum have food sensitivities etc to drinks hot cold etc so these are just a few of my tips tricks that i've gone through during the time that i've done some volunteer work also allow again for things like train travel bus travel taxi travel again to and from the organization because many people on the autistic spectrum will not travel on public transport so again you have to allow for private transport to bring them to work um, from work so again that means contacting taxis or private hire uh, vehicles to get them to and from work so that can be another thing that plays into traveling to work also when it comes to like I said food and drink make sure you do have suitable food and drink for them on offer at the workplace usually they'll obviously there's vending machines and such so usually that shouldn't be too much of a hassle but also you need to look into things like um, having uh, braille for blind people as well because blind people will need special adaptations and reasonable adjustments so accessible information again which I mentioned earlier anything to do with health and safety and um, rules of the premises what they are expected to do uh, with behavior and such but yeah please give this video a like a comment share and subscribe and I will be back next time bye guys bye